Hi guys, welcome back to Sim UK, welcome back to City Skylines. Now I'm looking at our city that we've built here and I realise I've put them really close together, haven't I? The industrial and the residential areas are so close together. What I'd like to do in this episode is push out uh, into maybe this area or perhaps even this area and start getting some farmland down um, and I think that would be much nicer for these residents to live with and work with than, uh, than this current smelly, dirty, factory, smutty looking horrible place. Also this route to get from the industrial area over to the um, Oh, actually, yeah, we've got two lane uh, roads here. We didn't need this at all, really, did we? So, yeah, that road's not as important as I thought it was. Okay, not to worry. So, I mean, we're in a, we're in a reasonable position at the moment. Um, we've got healthcare emergency services, police department and schools that we need to put in. That's what this area is for. We're going to centralise this and build the residence around it. Um, I don't think we've got parks yet. Still no parks. I'd like to leave a space here for parks, but I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that. Maybe um, services around the outside and parks in the middle. Something like that, perhaps. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. So let's begin with healthcare. Where can we pop this? Now that is actually giving us quite a wide. It's slightly missing this area here, but I think. Oh, that's weird. It's even further away. So I think it might be related to the amount of miles you have to travel to get there that's limiting the coverage that we're getting. See, weirdly, that's got better coverage than that does. So, we'll go with popping the school here. Hmm. Maybe I do need to destroy one of these houses and link this up. That would take out both those houses. That would take out both of those houses. So we're going to lose two houses if I do that. It seems like a lot. Let's see if I can find a better place for it. Um, wow, weirdly. Weirdly, it doesn't seem to matter where I put this. I mean, that, that spot there is actually giving me better coverage than anything over here. Which is a bit frustrating because I built this specifically for services. Okay, well we do need people to have medical coverage. So, we're going to pop you there. And that makes everybody happy, that's good. Um, I think fire department has got to be my next priority. And again, we got that same issue, it's just the road coverage over here is just terrible for some reason. Now, is it because that's a two-lane road? Let me just... Um... Yeah, it is, look. So, I'm thinking I want to change this two-lane road then into a two-way road, like so. Does that fix the problem? Very much so. Okay, that was the problem then. It's because nobody could get down this road to get here quick enough. And it's about how long it takes to get there. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Okay, so does this give me coverage in the industrial area? Not so much. I might need to change my plans ever so slightly in order to make this 
have the maximum amount of coverage. That's a pretty good spot. I definitely want to be able to get here in time. Okay, we're going to change our plan and pop it here, I think. Maybe this side. Okay, and then a police department right next to it. Not enough money for the police department. Okay then. Okay then. But we've got a fire department and we've got a medical centre. I do want to get a school. Now the school can go over here. We can't afford the school now. Let's start moving time on and see if we can't get some more residents in here. Because residents bring in money and we need money. Something like this, I'm thinking. Pretty good stuff so far. Definitely houses are in demand, which is good for us. Right, so I'm not going to put any houses here. We're going to do something else with this. Maybe parks, sports, uh, tennis courts, so on and so forth. If we've got a water issue here, we do. We'll fix that real quick. Just check over here. That all looks fine. Okay, good. The city is expanding once again on our way to something, on our way to becoming a metropolis, maybe. Mayor, that's great news. City can now annex new adjacent area, new possibilities. Oh yes, I need to look at that. This is insane. I have to drive to the next city for a painkiller prescription. Well, yeah, we fixed that problem. Healthcare for everyone. Citizens flock to get treatment for various ailments, flu shots. The city receives its first fire engine. Citizens already feel safer than before. Fireproof. When is our city going to build a school of its own? Yes, school. That is on the agenda, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what am I going to do with the drunken sailor? Uh, commercial zone and residential zone. Very much in demand at present. Um, I think... Expanding the residential area is absolutely necessary to keep things pro progressing. Are we out of cash? 306 in the bank. That is not a lot of money. Is it time to take out a loan? I think we have to take out a loan. 60,000. 60,000. Okay, let's get a school in. Let's check the kind of coverage we have there. It's not brilliant, but I think it just about covers everybody. So let's plonk that there. Oh, that's terrible. I think that's fairly reasonable for school coverage. Everybody seems to be happy. We have a school, uh, community high school. We could put both schools there, couldn't we? But I think we need to get... <coughs> <coughs> so sorry. We need to get more residents in the area first. So let's expand this to the end. And... Uh, I do feel like it's a bit unimaginative what I'm building at the moment. I am aware of that. I'm not too happy about it. Um, I 
Try some closer knit stuff. That'll do, I think. That's going to boost the uh, number of residents we have in this area quite considerably. Hopefully uh, the services that I've put in place will still be able to reach and cover them. If not, I can put some more stuff down this end. This is where the rich area is going to be and up here on the hill. That's the plan at least. I'm going to have to do something about this. Please let me know in the comments if you know how to fix that. I will be reading and the episode after this will be probably starting to think about dealing with that. Um, water situation, make sure we're covered. That is perfect coverage. Looks like we've got a crime in the area. I think a police department's probably a good idea. Where should we pop this? That looks like perfect coverage for everywhere, pretty much. do them. Okay, police department, check. School, check. Fire department, check. Landfill, check. 4% full already. That's a bit of a concern. Let's, oh, what's this? Recycling centre. Oh, when did we get that? Citizens can recycle more different kinds of waste when the city has a recycling centre, making less garbage pile up. The centre produces small amounts of raw materials from the waste. We definitely want one of those. In fact, I'm thinking... We can make a little sort of residential area here. That's a six-lane highway I've got there. That seems a bit intense, but that's what we've gone with, so... Tis what it is. So this can be like waste and recycling down here. I'm not going to be able to fit two of those next to each other, am I? Blast! Okay, well, we only need one anyway, for now. Ah, right, so we've got recycling. Have they got water? Let's just check that situation. They have, but only flipping just. Expansion, expansion. 7,308 in the bank. We're making a loss of 800 and whatnot a week. So we need residents pretty sharpish. For now, at least, it's uh, a need to get as much coverage as possible, as quickly as possible. We need income. There you go, they're, they're shooting up pretty quickly. I think that's gonna work quite well. Um, that might be a good spot. If we've got parks and things, recreation, then uh, people wanna buy drinks and stuff like that. Seems to make sense that we have something there. Maybe these tiny little... These tiny little mist squares can be uh, shops out and about and here and there. That could be interesting. That could be interesting. Alright, 
All right, okay. Not too bad, not too bad. How is the traffic situation looking? Not, not shabby. That is mostly green. I had a bit of a concern that that was going to be a tricky bit of street there. Um, I do need to do something to address that, probably. I'm thinking a road there might do it, but that's not ideal. Making that a two-lane highway is not going to fix it. I don't know. We'll have a little think about that later on. So, houses popping up all over the place. That's keeping uh, demand under control. Still not making a profit, though. So, we can't really move forward until we start making a profit right now. We are going to have to wait. Oh, look at that. We've just hit Tiny Town. Wow, these episodes are going to be really short, guys. Tiny Town, reach a population of 1,300. I must be doing a reasonably good job here, I guess. I don't know. Landscaping is now an option. That there means up and lowering and raising uh, ground. Deformation. Uh, deformation? No, that's not what I meant. Terraformer. Mm, brain's broken. Wires are not connected properly. Sorry about that. Parks and plazas. Oh, good. When I get some money, I can fix that problem there. Level 2 unique buildings. Football! Build a football stadium to allow your city to have its very own football team. The team plays matches on the stadium, and if they are victorious, the city, meaning you, gets a considerable prize sum. I want a football stadium. That would be cool. Is it English football or American football? That's the question. I'm guessing it's American football, isn't it? Never mind. Same old, same old. New policies, pet ban, smoking ban, parks and recreation, what is this then? Make your parks and plazas the envy of the country. Moderately increased land value around parks and plazas. Okay, cool. School's out, what's this? The citizens will prefer working over education. No. Subsidised youth. By spending money on training young players, the team has increased odds to win. Applies to all stadiums. Cost 9,000 per week. Multiplied by number of stadiums in the city. Whoa! We won't be doing that anytime soon. Come one, come all. To make it easier for fans to get to the stadium, public transport is free on match days. Increased amount of visitors raises the odds of winning a match. Perfect. Match security. Hire security staff to patrol around the stadium, keeping crime low. Costs 500 per week per stadium. That's not so bad. Canal. Hmm. What would I use a canal for? Flood wall. Oh, wow. This game is so in-depth. It's unreal. So much to learn. New buildings. Parks with trees. A large playground. Plaza with picnic tables. Small park, small playground, plaza with trees, high school, tennis court, I want that, carousel, bouncy castle, fresh water outlet, what's this then? The fresh water outlet lets out excess water in the system. It can be placed on dry land, creating lakes and ponds. Water evaporates and the outlet can be turned on and off to help with possible flooding. If the city produces less water, or the same amount it consumes, the freshwater outlet won't let any water out. Interesting. Japanese garden, dog park. Okay. Botanical garden. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, that would be good. Basketball court. Uh, basketball, uh, sorry, baskets and balls make for a fun time. Citizens can enjoy playing with friends and new acquaintances at the basketball court raises nearby land value. Excellent. Sports Hall and Gymnasium. Institute of Creative Arts. What does that do? A prestigious school specialising in creative arts educates teens an alternative to the high school. A biodome. A variety of endangered plants, insects and birds find refuge in these climate controlled structures. Visitors get to explore a completely different ecosystem without having to travel around the world. Animal species that might otherwise go extinct can live safely and peacefully whilst receiving the care that they need to survive. 
the vertical farm. Vertical farming is the ultimate solution to agriculture in an urbanised world. This structure has vertically stacked floors, allowing a large number of crops to be grown in a rel relatively small area. Many floors are enclosed similarly, 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 similar, I can't do it, oh no, similarly to greenhouses whilst others are open to outside weather conditions. Right, there we go. Got there in the end. Let me know in the comment section how you think I'm doing. Let me know in the comment section what you think I should prioritise next. I was going to set up some farming in, in, in a new area, but <clears throat> it looks like we got 25,000 in the bank, but we're making a loss each week. So I need to get enough people in to balance the books, otherwise we're just going to go under anyway. So as much as I'd love to put tennis courts and basketball courts and stuff in, I think I'm going to have to slow down the cool stuff and just focus on expanding the number of residents we've got and making sure that they've got enough health care, uh, fire protection, etc, etc, etc. But uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hit that like button if you're enjoying the series. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you think. And um, yeah, I mean, if it's going terribly, then just tell me. And if you're not enjoying it, let me know. And we can always put a new vote in and change the game if I'm not doing a good job here. But I'm enjoying it. I hope you are. Let's see where it goes. Thanks for watching. Take care. Till next time. Goodbye.